Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a little under the weather, so I look a little, you know, under the weather. Um, so I just recovered from COVID and now I have a bad cold. It's not COVID, it's just a cold, but um, it wasn't feeling so great. This is Thursday. Tuesday felt really bad. I called in sick on Tuesday, um, just kind of muddling through the rest of the week. But anyway, uh, I'm off for the next 10 days, and because tomorrow is a holiday here, it is um, Remembrance Day, which is the same as Veterans Day in the U.S., and so it's a holiday. Then I took a week off, so I don't have to go back to work till the following Monday. I'm going to go see my mother a couple of days, and I'm going house hunting, um, and more to follow on that. Anyway, we're here today. We're gathered here today to talk about Bath & Body Works candles. So I've been waiting to place my winter order until they went $10 uh, half off, which they did. And the last time they went half off, they didn't have Twisted Peppermint on in stock online. So, And I don't live in a town. I live in a small town. The city's about 50 minutes away, and that's where Bath & Body Works is. So I wasn't going to bother going all the way in there just for candles. So anyway, this is what we have. Most of them are tried and true, you know, yearly staples. I have a couple new ones though. Um, so let's do the tried and true first, I guess. Which we this and this and this and this and this. Not that. Oh yes, this. And this I've had before and Where's my winter candle? They messed it up, those sons of whores. All right. Okay. As it turns out, the, set, the one they sent me a double of, I like, so good for them. But anyway, okay. First of all, Twisted Peppermint, every year I get it. I thought I put two of these in my order, but I only see one. Maybe at the end of when I was checking out, I kind of got my senses about me and took one out. I don't know. But anyway, Twisted Peppermint, if you don't know, is... Let me get my glasses. Uh, uh, Twisted Peppermint is... Um, what are you doing? Cool Peppermint. Cool Peppermint Sugar Snow... No. Oh my God, I can't see. Cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, and vanilla bean, and a hint of musk. This is like so good. I have it, I told you last week, in body shower gel, shower gel, fragrance mist, uh, hand sanitizer. It's just, I don't, what can I say about Twisted Peppermint? It's just a staple. I love it. I love it that it's cool, refreshing peppermint, um, and it will always be a staple in everything I can get my hands on. Another one returning is Tis the Season. Now, I'm not in love with Tis the Season. Let's talk about the notes. Um, rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. I love the notes. I think it sounds divine. Apple, cedarwood, and cinnamon. However, in the past, all I got was cinnamon, and I haven't bought it in a few years. Now, having said that, that I haven't bought it in a few years, I do sell the apples. And I do smell a woodsy note. So hopefully when I burn it, it will be the same. Now, I wasn't even going to order this because as I said, I've not had, I didn't like it in the past because it was all cinnamon. However, I bought it for the packaging. That is why I bought it. And maybe this year was a good, a good, a uh, good plan because on cold, it smells different than it has in the past. So anyway, that's why I bought it. So hopefully it smells good when I burn it. Uh, peppermint sugar cookie I've had before as well. Uh, packaging again, super cute. I love it. And, um, I think I bought this, wait a second. I have a, I had a mini, I had a one wick candle haul not too long ago. I think there's one of these in there. I'm sure there is. Um, oh, these are free. I wish I could see. Uh, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. So this is really good. See, I don't like to wear these because, you know, the ring light. Oh, this is so good. This is like sugar cookies with peppermint buttercream or peppermint crushed on top or peppermint inside of it. So yummy. Um, this is hot cocoa and cream. And 
I did buy one of these the other day in store. I was in the city. Jason lives in the city. And oh, let me tell you the I just I forgot about the lids. This is the twisted peppermint lid. How cute. And I know lots of people do fun and fancy things with the lids. I do not. Those are like, I think, strings of lights or strings of stars on there. And a Christmas tree on um, Tis the Season. Uh, this one has the strings of lights. Anyway, I bought this in the city the other day. We went to Bath and Body Works because um, I had a couple of one of the things I wanted to pick up for gifts that weren't online. So we went to the store. It was a very interesting experience. I wish Jason would come online with me. He just is so camera shy. He doesn't want to, but his first experience in Bath and Body, it was quite busy. It was a Saturday afternoon, um, a oh, Sunday afternoon, sorry. I don't know, Saturday, Sunday, whatever. It was busy in Bath and Body Works. And um, so... He, we were like, I was smelling him all the candles and he held a candle up to my face and he said, what is this? I said, oh my God, this mahogany tea cord. He said, how'd you know that? I know. And a couple of the candles he smelled, which I got a couple. One he I, he held up and I, could, I, I knew I knew it. I knew I knew it, but I couldn't put the name on it. But anyway, he said, why do you know this? And I said, because Bath and Body Works people know. We come back year after year for the same staples, the same candles. And that was all new to him and the packaging and everyone was looking at the lids and like, it was just, it was kind of funny. It was kind of comical. But anyway, this is one of the ones that we did pick out. And see, so I found out he's not a bakery lover. And I knew that because he didn't like almond croissant. Then I held up one of the ones I had here was a bakery one. He didn't like that. And so it was going to be a challenge to figure out the whole wax melting business and candle burning business with Jason, but we're gonna figure it out. But anyhow, one of the ones that he did like was hot cocoa and cream. And this is, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows. <coughs> Here comes my cough. And he loved this one. So I did get one, it's at his house right now. It is so good. It smells exactly like the powdered Swiss Miss Cocoa. So good. Super strong. Throws 9 out of 10. Even he said, wow, that's kind of strong. I can smell it outside. It is really, really strong. And it is really, really good. It's really good. Uh, another staple is Vanilla Bean Noel. And did, did I show you the picture? I guess I did the labels. I, the labels. I prefer these kind of like graphic fun labels as opposed to something I'll show you here in a second or like live, like photograph labels. I don't like photograph labels. I like kind of whimsical things. Anyway, this is Vanilla Bean uh, Noel, which probably everybody's seen already. Anyway, I'm kind of the last to the party as per usual. Um, vanilla Bean Marshmallow Fluff and Vanilla Cake. So I love Vanilla Bean and I bought some of this in body care last month as well. I wish it was stronger. I wish there was a way to make it stronger. It's just not as strong. You know, I love it. I'm not going to stop buying it, but I wish it would throw better. Maybe it's just, maybe, I haven't had it now. I don't think I had one last year. So maybe it was just my Houston house that it didn't throw in. So we'll see this year what happens. The one they doubled up on, one of them should, was supposed to be, um, Winter is I got two vanilla birch and I like it, but you know, I want a winter one. White birch, Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood. But I think this weekend is buy one, get one free week candle. So <coughs> maybe I'll get one, but you know, Jason saw the box come in the other. He brought the box in. He said, Oh, you have a box. I said, Oh, oh, do I? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's just some winter candles. So I, I don't know how, you know, still navigating all that. Anyway, I do like vanilla birch. So, you know, luckily it's okay, but I do I do need a winter one for sure. And I did get one or two one wicks, but I definitely want a three wick for sure. I just said the set notes and I forgot them already. Um, white birch, Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um and definitely the sandalwood, that kind of cozy. Sandalwood always kind of reads like a cozy note to me. 
And then these are new to me. And this is one that Jason did not care for. It was the night before Christmas. There's Santa and the reindeer. And this is um, cookies and milk or something. Fresh baked cookies, a mug of milk with dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh, yeah, this is so good and so strong on cold. Like, I can't wait to burn this, but he doesn't like it. But anyway, we'll have to figure something out. So anyway, I got, and I also got one of these. I'm going, we are going to my mom's house for Christmas. So I got one to take down there as well. And I think that was, I, I have a one wick in that. Anyway, it was a night before Christmas, really good. Um... Under the Christmas tree, I'm not sure if this is new, but it's new to me. I've not had this before. Okay, hot mess Sally here. Uh, fur balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. Definitely you get the fur and the sage. It's very, you know, a little sharp. So I'm hoping when it burns that the eggnog comes out. It was the eggnog that attracted it, attracted me to the candle. I don't smell a lot of eggnog on cold, so hopefully when I burn it, we'll find it. And then the perfect Christmas is not an, is not new, but I don't believe I've ever had it before. Um, uh, fresh cut pine, cinnamon, sugar, toasted marshmallow. Oh, this is nice. I like this one better. I like this better than under the Christmas tree. Because I can get the, I get the marshmallow. I got an, I got an email from my eye doctor to come. It's time for a checkup. I definitely need a checkup. Yeah, toast and marshmallow. Okay, yes, toast and marshmallow. I'm definitely getting with the pine. And so I like that one a lot more than Under the Christmas Tree. So that's it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that's where it is. I thought I got 10. I have to, there is no receipt. Oh, dear. Okay, I need to um, go online and check that out. Because I thought I, I knew I was going to limit myself to 10. You can have 10 candles. Um, but winter was definitely one of them and vanilla birch was not two of them. Anyway, I'll check it out. Anyhow, that's my candle haul. Um, so I'm going to put these away and then I'm going to do my empties. I'll guess I'll post that up for tomorrow. So you'll see me look in the hot mess one more time. Okay. Have a great night, everybody. I will see you soon. Bye.